Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and this is a part 2 of the tutorial in which I modeled the famous Le Corbusier's Villa Savoie in Revit. So in part 1, and the link to that part is in the description, I have basically placed these images for all the levels and I've added these grid lines and also I've added levels. If we go here in this elevation you can see we have all the levels and also I've placed some columns over here as well. So now we're going to be continuing this tutorial so I'll be modeling the walls. And in order to place walls you go to the architectural template or tab and you go here to walls or you can use the WA shortcut. I prefer using shortcuts. So here we have this basic wall generic 200 millimeter and if I start placing a wall over here you can see that kinda corresponds to the wall I have on this image over here so I will be using this 200 millimeter wall but for this over here I need to create a new one so I'll model or I'll create a new 100 millimeter wall and to do so I'm just going to go here to WA or wall command and go edit type and here I can go to duplicate so while this generic 200 is selected I can go duplicate and now it created a new name called generic 202. Now I'm going to delete this number 2 and let's just type in generic 100 millimeter. go OK and now we have a new type and let's just go to structure and edit it and type in here 0.1 meters or basically 10 centimeters and go OK, OK and there we go. Now if we start placing this wall over here you can see it's 100 millimeters. So I'm just going to continue placing these walls over here, just place them like so. Okay, I have placed all these walls right now, but as you can see, we have some problem spots like this over here, this over here. So, first let's zoom in and here we can see we have our column like this and this wall is just on the outside of that. So, if we could align these two things, that would be great. So, I'm going to just use the align tool, so just type in AL, you choose this line over here basically the outside of the column and you choose the outside of the wall and you can just lock it in place. So now this is all aligned and we can do the same thing over here, maybe align this to this and if you see that anywhere else you can use the same tactic. Okay, so nothing more to align. Now here we have this is kinda overlapping and you can fix that with a trim and extend tool so just trim it in place same thing over here, this one is alright, this one as well. Okay, so that's that, that's fixed. Now here we have this opening over here. So we have our wall going like that and here we need an opening and to create an opening you can use the split tool, so just go SL for split and you can split it in two points or two places and you just delete this middle part. And now we can use the align tool to basically align this part to this. So just choose this end of the wall over here and align it to this. Okay, so we have that fixed. Now we have this over here that's kind of weird. We can either fill it or we can leave it as the door is over here, but if you can see it here over here we can't really fill it that. We can't leave it like that, we need to fill it and I'm going to be using the trim and extend tool just to trim it to look like this and then I'll just move this down a bit and now we need to fill it this angle over here and to do so you just go into wall command you need to make sure that you're using the same wall you have over here and you go here to fillet arc and you select the first one you select the second one and then you create basically the arc now we need to create this garage door over here but I'm not going to be using 
the basic some roll garage door I'm going to create a wall and then I'm going to place a couple of garage doors or actually three garage doors over here for these three automobiles and as far as I remember I think Corbusier preferred Citroens as far as cars went okay so I'm just going to go wall and I'm going to create a wall like this over here now you may notice I didn't start from this wall over here I started just a bit down and I'm going to end it over here and the reason I didn't connect this is so I can align it first so I'm just going to go here to align so AL and select this line over here and align it to this lock it in place and then I connect it and now it looks like that it looks right and now I'm just going to select this wall and go create similar to create the same wall and I'm going to be using the start and radius arc for this so I'm just going to select this point over here this point over here and let's just create an arc okay so we have this basically garage wall and now we need to add some garage openings or garage doors for cars and to do so I'm just going to go here to door and load family so open this up just step back one folder if you want metric and here we have doors and open it up and we have this overhead garage door and we have this overhead sectional door I prefer using this one so I'm just going to go open it and we have this one and it's the correct size so let's just place it like so now as you can see if you move your cursor to the inside of the wall the garage door will be on the outside and if you go on the outside the garage door will be on the inside and I think this should be on the inside so let's just place it like this this and one over here okay so we have these three garage doors for the three cars that Corbusier wanted over here so let's just place it like that and there you go we have our garage now let's just create this curtain wall that goes over this part of the house and for that we need to create two portions of curtain wall one for this door over here and this door over here and a different curtain wall for this over here because it's kinda narrow it has this industrial design type feel and if you're interested in this arc over here why Le Corbusier chose this arc it's because the actual turning radius of the Citroen he preferred to keep in this garage was it was basically this angle of this house so the house is built according to the turning circle of the Citroen okay so let's just create this curtain wall and I'm just going to go here to wall or type in WA for shortcut and here I'm just going to go all the way down and choose this storefront curtain wall so I'm just going to start here and create one over here so just small portion like this and I'm going to select it and flip it to the other side so it looks like that and I'm going to go again curtain wall and let's just create one over here and if you want to flip it before you finish it just tap the space key and now it's flipped okay so once that's completed we need to create the other curtain wall and that is this over here and to do so just go again WA4 wall open up this curtain wall and go edit type and here I can duplicate this type so we can call this storefront 2 let's just leave it at that and here for the spacing just the vertical grids I'm going to change them to something a bit smaller let's change it to 0.5 and for the horizontal grids let's keep it at 3.2 so we have basically a window going from floor to floor and go OK and let's create this make sure that it's selected over here go for an arc select this part over here just tap the space key to make sure it's going on the outside select this part over here and then let's just add the angle so you have that angle over there now do the same thing over here select this part this part over here and just make sure that it's at an angle okay and there you go now we have this curtain wall over here completed now we need to add the doors so most of the doors are easy and uh, of course I'll show you how to do them but these curtain wall doors are a bit tricky so I'm just going to select this 
mullion in the middle so you just come here and if you can select it just tap the tab and you can select the mullion so make sure this line lights up and this pin appears and you just unpin it so now you can move it around and you just place it over here at this part of the door and you just go create similar so just type in CS to create a new segment over here at this end of the door so you just select and place one here and one here as well and now you can add the curtain door over here curtain wall door over here but before you add that door you need to load it in place or load it into project so you need to go here to the insert tab go load family again I'm going to switch back to metric go doors and here I have this curtain wall single door or double door and here I have this single one so I'm just going to select this one and this one as well just hold the control key to select both of them and go open up and now here I can zoom in and you can see this is the actual panel so you just hit the tab a couple of times till you can select the panel you unpin it you open up this properties menu and you find this door single one and here we have the double one so I'm just going to choose double one and let's just flip it so it's going on the inside and do the same thing over here so just select this you hit tab a couple of times to select the actual curtain panel unpin it open up this properties panel and go single and let's just flip it around both directions and there you go now we have this curtain wall door over here okay so let's finish up this tutorial here so this is end of part two make sure to subscribe to see part three so you don't miss it it will be coming out tomorrow thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and see you tomorrow